Hello everyone and welcome back to Daedalic December where we are going to be taking our final blind look at the Dark Eye Chains of Satinav. Last time we built this little contraption and we woke up the dwarf, so now let's see if he's got anything for us. What do you want? I hope you got some good stuff. We need gear and provisions for our journey. That means a good length of rope, blankets, water... Very well! That'll be one ducat, please. What? That's much too expensive. By Fex and Angrosh, what did you expect? Do you think this stuff grows under the rocks around here? Too expensive? I can't believe it. But... You can ask again as soon as you have some money. What kind of argument do you and the knight have anyway? I have no idea what you're talking about. The knight says you poisoned his horse. Why, that's what he did. Shut your face, Raffling! Bah! <laughs> so, the knight is lying. Listen, human. I don't think this is any of your business, so... All right, all right. We're looking for a wise man who is said to be in the blood barrier at the moment, near a red lake. One of those weirdos, eh? I remember one of them coming through here. Wanted to buy all sorts of stuff from me. Lots of obscure rubbish. Do you know exactly where I can find him? Yes. I'll tell you if you can offer me something in exchange. You rub my back, I rub yours, understand? There you have it, my boy. The dwarf is a cutthroat. Will you bugger off and take care of your swine? Hmm. Where is the fairy scholar, pray tell? Do you have anything nice to offer me in exchange? Um... In that case, I have no idea where the chap is. <laughs> I'll sell you the horse and the trailer. Nah, don't bother. I don't care much for hacks and what they drag around with them. Okay. I'll leave you to it then. Well, now we know how much it's going to cost to get our gear, so maybe we sell the horse and trailer to Sir this Sir Knight Rathling. What is it, my boy? Aha. Uh -huh. Horse for one ducat, yep. I'll sell you the horse for one ducat. Ducat. <laughs> that old nag isn't worth more than half a ducat, and that would be the deal of your life, my boy. So do we have a deal? No, we need one ducat. Well, my offer still stands. Oh man. I guess we'll have to move on without any gear, Nuri. But I thought we couldn't go on without. To venture into the blood barrier with insufficient means, that would be foolish. But we don't have any money, and you refuse to give us enough for the horse. Bah! <laughs> oh, jeez. Um... Hmm. <sighs> The knight is right. We can't proceed further into the wild with nothing in our bags. I guess we're stranded for now. No problem. I like it here. What are those trees over there? If you feel alright, my girl, everything is just fine. But I can't stand to see fair maidens suffer. I guess I'll have to look the other way then. <laughs> if we don't move along soon, the dark creatures will catch up with us. I didn't think they were very dark. They were mainly sad. They killed Isida. And they almost got us too. I thought they were a little bit like me. No, I'm sure they weren't. I wonder what your friends at home are doing at the moment. Why? Well, they're all alone now, and they surely miss you. All alone? Miss Greenbell, we have to go back and fetch them. No, we can't go back now. Do you want to run directly into the creature's claws? We have to find the fairy scholar. He will help us, and then we can fetch Mrs. Greenbald and the rest. Miss Greenbald. I think she was talking about the weird little mandragoras that she had. I think mandrakes? And I'm not sure. I think it's mandragora. Don't you want to help Nuri, good Sir Knight Rathling? Oh my. What's wrong with her? She's sad that we can't go on. What can I do for you, Nuri? Miss Greenbald. How can I help? Why don't you give us part of your gear in exchange for the horse? What's the big idea, my boy? A <laughs> traveling knight is carrying less than he needs as it is. Besides, 
None of my items are made for someone your size. <sighs> well, that is probably true. Can't you buy the gear for us from Graham? You'd get a horse and everybody would be... By no means. I'll never do business with that old cheap skate again. He's not honestly asking a ducat for some gear. Bah. Please help us out with one ducat, good sir knight. Half a ducat for the horse and half a ducat to make Nuri smile again. <laughs> I think you've got me, my boy. No gold in the world is spent in vain if it makes beauty smile again. Here you go. <laughs> I thank you, good knight. So we can travel soon? Yes. And Miss Greenbelt won't have to wait much longer. Yes, that's the spirit, my girl. Say, don't you want to stay with me after all? Not on your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure Miss Greenbelt is going to have to wait a little while. I don't think we're immediately getting back. Oh, what is this? A dark blue tincture. Looks unhealthy. Hey! Keep your paws off my Jenna Creek blue shine beard dye. Do you think my beard gets groomed by air and darkness alone? You'd better leave the stuff to this dandy boy. It's his most beloved possession. <laughs> what do you want? Here's the money for the gear. Wonderful! Here's your stuff. It's exceptional quality. Good value, too. I sure hope so, dwarf. Hmm. I'll give you some advice for free. When you go into the blood barrier, you'd better not burden yourself with too much stuff. You'll feel every ounce in your bones up in the mountains. Yes, I know that. Where is the fairy scholar, pray tell? Do you have anything nice to offer me in exchange? Um... In that case, I have no idea where the chap is. I'll leave you to it, then. Mm. What are you staring at? Is something wrong with my beard? I'm just ever so amazed by its blue shining luster. In that case, you're forgiven, Greatling. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I got a bad, bad, bad feeling. I know what we gotta do. We gotta break his vial. Oh, that's terrible. What? No! <laughs> By Angrosh and all the beard critters, my beautiful Jenna Creek Blue Shine beard dye! Who did that? Perhaps Angrosh himself has punished you for your vanity, Sir Dwarf. What will my beard have to say to that? <laughs> How could that happen? Whoever it was, <laughs> my revenge will crush them! Smells like juniper berries. Hmm. What do you want? Where is the fairy scholar, pray tell? Do you have anything nice to offer me in exchange? Um... In that case, I have no idea where the chap is. Um, I think we have I'll something kind of nice to <clears throat> offer you in exchange. We have that hair thingy, this bottle thing here. Yes. Here you go. I can offer you this beard tonic. Why, but it's transparent. A black beard needs a blue luster. And for that, I already have my Jenna Creek Blue Shine beard dye. Well, you did. You, you don't anymore. Sorry, dude, but you don't. Well, let's head out When this will way. we move on? I don't have the slightest idea where this red lake is. Wait a minute, weren't we supposed to have gotten some rope? Yeah, rope. Maybe we can use it with the one berry bush. Too obvious. Oh. So. Um, let's see. Water, blanket, flintstone, and tinder. Huh. Nope. Hmm. Let's talk to the knight Sir again. Sir Knight Rathling. What is it, my boy? Oh, never mind. Rondra be with you, Sir Knight. And with you. I think Mary has anything to say. Listen. Nope. Let's carry on later. Hmm. 
maybe we're supposed to, you know, we're supposed Dwarves to hate magic, and he won't get his beard dye back this way either. Hmm. Okay, so there has to be some way to actually get the dye, I think. Maybe with the water bottle? No. This better stay dry. Okay. Blanket? Nope. Okay. Nope. An elixir against this fading is... hair. Twirly mustache guy in the picture must have had a sip too much of it. Hmm. So how do we get it to be... It may not be beard dye, but the label is similar. True. No. Smells like juniper berries. And those are one berries. But they do look blue. Is there a way to... Not a single berry is falling down, as Dang. always. Dang it, that would have been useful. <laughs> hmm... Not likely. I thought you said you could use that as like a bowl. It's gotta be How could that happen? This. Whoever it was, my revenge will crush them. Hmm. Okay, well, there's gotta be more to it. something that I can offer to him. Oh. Hmm. Finally, I don't have to rub wooden sticks together to make fire anymore. Good. The smallest and most expensive water bladder of the north. No. So how exactly do we get to that one berry bush? My arm is too short. One berries. Their bitter blue juice has healing properties. I'm thinking it's gotta be this way. When will we move on? I don't have the slightest idea where this red lake is. Oh wait, let's talk to the raven. Maybe he's got an idea. Oh, maybe he can go up there and get one um, for us. Um, raven? That would make sense, he can fly. Yeah, there we go. Nuri thinks that the seer's creatures were wicked fairies. How come he's got such a strong relation to fairies? You're barking up the wrong tree. Does he plan to make her a wicked fairy as well? Mm, possibly. Do you see the flower box at the dwarf's house up there? I see him. There are one berries in there. Can you fly up there and get me some? Do you need a healing remedy? Are you injured? Yes. Uh, it's just a scratch. It will be all right with a couple of wanberries. Hmm. I didn't notice before. I didn't want to upset Nuri. That's all. All right then. I had to lie. I'm pretty sure if you deny it, he's just not gonna go up there. Oh wow, he's gonna bring the whole thing down. Jeez. Well, thank you. It's very nice of you. Their bitter blue juice has healing properties. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Now it's pretty obvious that I just need... Ah, oh, damn it. I just need to put the one berries into the tin bottle. Maybe right I can mix my own blue beard tonic. I'll have to squeeze the berries somehow. Oh, okay, so I have to squeeze the berries into the lid. Now all I have to do is squeeze the berries. There we go. Okay, so there, there's the lid with the one berries. Now all I have to do is squeeze the berries. Now, I guess use this. That might make sense, right? Yeah. How do I fill it? Um... Fill it? You mean like this? Hey. Good old Goratian Bluebeard Die. <laughs> Good old Goratian Bluebeard Die. I love it. The lid makes a perfect bowl. I should keep it. Okay, so now we can offer this to him. Can you make use of this, uh, Garatian beard tonic? I'll give it to you for some information. Mm hmm Let's see it. Garatian 
Hmm. I guess this will have to make do until I can get my hands on the real stuff again. So, what do you want to know? <laughs> Where exactly has the scholar gone? He babbled something about a cave to the north of a big orc statue, near a red lake. He couldn't wait to get there. His imp had made a mess of my whole shop. When did the fairy scholar pass through here? Uh, that must have been a month ago. Wanted to stay the winter in the blood barrier. I called him crazy. All his imp had for me was a dirty laugh. What is an imp doing with a fairy scholar? How the hell should I know? <laughs> that was an unholy, uninhibited, nasty little imp. Ugly and mean. My shop still reeks of his foul mouth. How do we get to this cave? First you travel north, through the Screech Owl Forest. Or, better yet, past Bloodthorn Hollow. Oh, never mind. I'll show you on the map. <laughs> Why, thank you, Master Dwarf. Yeah, maps. Not that's much more useful. Okay, let's talk to Nuri. Listen. Oh, never mind. Let's carry on later. Let's switch to leave. Come on, Nuri. Let's move on. Come along, Raven. <laughs> Onward! Achievement Orc Splicer. The Blood Barrier. Most impassable of all mountain ranges. What in the name of all twelve gods had made the fairy scholar come here? There wasn't a single danger that didn't lurk here. Thirsty Zolochai. And the path led straight through their camp. That sounds terrible. Shh, Nuri. Come over here into the shadows. They can't see us here. That's a whole camp of orcs. If they find us, we're dead. Raven! Go on, report. <laughs> and crow a little less loudly, if you will. <laughs> the Red Lake is behind this ridge, but the orcs are everywhere. They are here to perform a ritual. It will take days for them to finish it and leave. <laughs> No Red Lake, then? Nonsense. We haven't journeyed through the blood barrier for days just to turn back now. You want to save the fairy, yet to risk her death. I thought Nuri could trust you. <laughs> but you're doing exactly what Gwyndling asked you to. I... Don't worry, Raven. Garen knows exactly what to do. Don't you, Garen? Of course I do. I'll get you to the fairy scholar in one piece. This can't be true. The orcs will rip us apart. You'd better hurry. Hmm. A pile of rubbish. 
I never meant to rummage through the rubbish of some orcs. And to top it off, the effort didn't even yield anything. Luckily, the orcs don't know what great things you can make out of wood. The skull cap is split. Is this a human skull? Oh, great. What are the orcs doing with a bracelet? Must be the spoils of war. This is madness. How will we ever make it through the camp? I don't really want to know what's cooking. Shields, axes, lances. Are they preparing for a campaign? Perhaps he's looking for his lower jaw. There are cracks in a segment of that rock, but I can't break that off with my bare hands. It looks so neglected. Nothing in there anymore. No wonder the pony is so skinny. The pony is shivering under its matted mane. I'll relieve you of that. The pony is shivering under its matted mane. It doesn't break. Yeah, I thought it was not highlighting. Gotta be something to do with this flintstone and tinder, maybe in the rubbish? Fire doesn't help here. Oh come on, you could set everything on fire and then they'd be afraid, maybe. Probably. Can't go that way. <laughs> so this red rock, he said he can't move it with his hands, but maybe he can move it with this wooden fork. Nope. I can do better than that. You can? Now it sounds loud and hollow if I knock against the skull cap. <laughs> It doesn't work that way. So what are you saying that you can do better? What am I supposed to do with this skull? Maybe I should talk to Nuri and the Raven. The old know-it-all really has to chime in on everything. Too bad he's right most of the time. <laughs> Say. We'll deal with them, won't we? There are dozens of them. You don't even have a sword. Raven, you distract them. And Nuri, uh, do you know how to perform a death spell? No. A sleeping spell? No. We'll deal with them anyway. Is there a different way? There is a good lane to fly through over there. I meant for the three of us. No, I'm sorry. The only way is through the orcs camp. Ugh. Can't you fly us over there? <laughs> I'm sorry I was cross with you again. I know you only mean the best with your warnings, but we have to reach that explorer at the Red Lake. Apology accepted. Didn't you want to say something too? <laughs> Yes. Yes? Don't make our situation any worse. <sighs> Do you see that jawbone at the pole? Yes. You'll have to fetch it for me. Why me? You're a bird. Flutter, flutter. I'm not a common scavenger crow. <laughs> come on, I need it. And just what makes you think you have command over me? <laughs> Nuri! Why don't you do what he wants? Huh. Oh well. <laughs> Humans. I get it. I'm sure it's something that I need. Oh, okay. Tairach arku geroch sir koi mork. I don't exactly know what it's good for. I don't want to meet that beast when it's still alive. 
definitely something that's nice. The raven hardly caught the orc's attention. So what is it for? I don't want to meet that beast, but... Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. 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 Is it on this? No? No? Okay. Maybe I can put it on the pony. Make it look fierce. No. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Let's see if he has anything else to say. Say. Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. What Nuri has to say. The orcs won't get Nuri. I'll take her to the fairy scholar in one piece. Nuri! They are fighting about who Tyrek will crush like a maggot. What? Don't worry, Nuri. I'll protect you. I miss my forest and all the life within it. We'll be with the fairy scholar soon and all will be fine. That sounds so beautiful. I just have to get rid of the orcs. Hmm. Hmm. You still have me, Nuri. Do you have any idea how we can get past the orcs? We turn around and look for a safer passage. Nuri! I'm counting on you alone. Please, Nuri. Let us get away from here. Don't worry, Raven. I'll protect you. All right. Here's a suggestion. We'll give ourselves up to the orcs. Maybe they'll be open to negotiation. Negotiate with orcs? Pfft. What kind of greenhorn are you? All I hear them saying is blood. Does anyone have any poison? We could contaminate their food. I wouldn't have thought you had it in you. I am disappointed, Garen. Orcs are creatures of this world just like everyone else. Uh, no, I, I meant... I'll oh, just... I'll forget it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've run out of ideas. That's why we should leave right now. Don't be hard on yourself, Garen. Maybe those fighting orcs over there will tell us something. You understand what the Blackfurs are talking about? Those two don't like each other. And the third one is always laughing. Anything important that could help us? Wait a minute. Mm. <laughs> It's a story with a lot of names in it. I don't think stories will get us any further ahead. They're talking about blood and guts a lot. Are they exchanging recipes or what? They are fighting about who Tyrak will crush like a maggot. And which of them is Tyrak? That's their blood god. The big loud one is impatient. He's eager to receive a sign from Tyrak. Otherwise, he'll start the dance himself. So, they're waiting for a sign. Mm, interesting. That could help. Let's listen in on the orcs some more. Okay. Seems to be quite entertaining. <laughs> they laugh about a human's bone. Disgusting. I hope they aren't cooking the fairy scholar. No. The bone is really tiny. Who knows what size those fairy scholars are? The big loud orc is more interested in ogre excrement. Great. I always wondered what orcs talk about. Will this be of any use to us? We give them ogre excrement for a present and they'll let us pass in exchange. If only life were that easy. <sighs> Let's try it one more time. And see Let's listen in on the orcs some more. Okay. Frokor Harkulsa. Koka Harkulsa. Roch Jura hier. Knap Taira. Again, there are many names. A certain Aika. The Aika is the chieftain of all orcs. They're waiting for their supreme orc. Just what we need. No, no. They've been waiting for a judgment from their god for days. And then? Then blood shall flow. Or they're waiting for blood? Are you sure you're getting this right, Nuri? The god wants blood. The orcs want blood. 
but no one seems to have it. We could offer Master Raven here. Keep on <laughs> joking, my boy. Let's try one more time, because this is still different. Now they're just running in circles. They're not saying anything new. Okay. Oh, I'll deal with this. All will be fine. <laughs> Got the snoop achievement. Um, hmm. This is an interesting one. Give me one second. Okay. This could be a little tougher. This is madness. How will we ever make it through the camp? There's that bracelet. As long as the orcs are still there, I better stay down here. Hmm. No, I can't really do much with the bracelet. I was wondering if there was something to do with it, though. There's gotta be something to do with this red rock. Hmm. The rock is bleeding color. Ew. It's kind of nasty. Is that something good? Should I like, put the blanket on it and soak up the blood? No. Okay. That doesn't help. I'd rather not. We do still have the knife. Yes, the knife. Zurbra Nok Narak. Okay. Boka I Taika Norka Taika. The stone is lined with red veins. But it's all dry. Royash. Okay. So Can I put this inside the skull? Shai Orkash Roshak Stach Tairach Groch Roy Kaku Skor Isra. Oh wait, it's all dry, so Use the water bladder on it to make it look wet. No. The stone colors the water blood red instantly. Okay. The stone is lined with red veins, but it's all dry. It kind of looks like a heart. Kind of. Mm. Okay. Wait, don't we have that thing in the Yeah, this thing. Water bag. Nothing in there anymore. No wonder the pony is so skinny. <laughs> what if I could put that in there? That's no help at all. No, of course not. Koka, Hakulzach, Groch Jura hier, Knack Taira. I'm still trying to figure out what, just exactly what to do with this stone. Maybe I could give it to the raven? No. Is there anything that needs to be like I can't possibly fix this, can I? Not likely. No, of course not. Hmm. Oh, that works. A throw hook. Oh. Happily, huh? Can I use that with the bracelet? The orcs will detect me. Oh, they will detect. Angus. What about... Over here. I go look. A right you go, Boschrasek. Grurasek. Istrasek. Karkasek. So that's what that okay. job is for. He's not hungry anymore. Hmm. Okay. So what else am I supposed to do here? 
This one's starting to get a little bit, a little bit crazy here. It looks so neglected. I if I could give it some water. Would you like some water? Here. Well, it didn't highlight, but it didn't do anything either. The stone colors the water blood red instantly. Okay. I don't think there's anything else to do with the red rock. What is there to do with the rubbish? I never meant to rummage through the rubbish of some orcs. To top it off, the effort didn't even yield anything. Say. Oh, nothing. Nuri! They are fighting about who Tyrek will crush like a maggot. What? Now they're just. They're not. Now they're not. Ah, I'll deal all with it. There's a shield over there, though. Oh, I can go this way now? Oh, okay, good. Um... Oh, good. Um... Oh, good. Um... Oh, good. Takai Karka Takai Karka Takai Karka Takai Karka Oh Asak Aslasa Ukna Knakra Eike Maragokash Ear Hark Takai Takai Karka Takai Takai Karka Takai Takai Karka Ach Obrak Okay. That was something. Is this incense for the shaman's ritual? Reeks of horrible weeds. Is this incense for the shaman's ritual? Reeks of horrible weeds. Okay, so it's just all gonna be the same. That's fine. We go that way. There's a puddle here. The drops are falling at a constant rate. It's a different frequency than the drumming of the orc. This constant dripping makes me go mad, but I'm used to that from my room in Andergast. The war horn is attached to the drum with a complicated knot. Sure, the drummer is busy, but it's still safer when he's not there. <laughs> Gwynlin used to keep his pipe weed in a pouch like this. This mongrel is in the way. If he wakes up, all will be lost. There must be some kind of gathering spot for the orcs down there. I'm not going to climb down there. The smoke is not a good sign. What a monster! I hope it never comes alive in flesh and blood. Always let a sleeping dog lie. That goes twice for a dog like this. Okay, so can we use perhaps maybe the knife to get this war horn? Hmm, yes, but I don't want to take a risk so long as the orc is still sitting there. Um, okay. I guess I could try to bludgeon him from behind, but the shaman would surely notice. He doesn't seem to be too steady with his beat. That has enraged the orc priest quite a bit. Hmm. Is he letting this monster determine the fate of his tribe? No wonder orcs are always at war. He's dancing to the rhythm of a drum. Perhaps that's his way of contacting his god. Hmm. No, that's not gonna do anything. Can I do something with the skull? Skull with the puddle? Let's see. That's right, because he said that it was something about it feels very hollow and odd. Or it sounds hollow when he knocks on it. Torog I Marka! Oh, he's going to be. 
Alright. So now we can definitely get this war horn. I don't know what it's good for, but. There we go. Okay. Definitely good for something. Now I just have to hide it from Nuri. Otherwise, we won't stay undetected for long. <laughs> okay. I don't want to wake up the dog. Okay. Can you use it on anybody here? It's fine. Let's go this way and see what we can find. Flowing water. Hmm. Damn, this is high. Icy as the floor is, I shouldn't try to jump over there. Otherwise, my high-flying dreams might be over. If I can compress the water flow somehow, I guess that would make a nice gush. Hmm? I can't reach the water from here. Hmm. Nothing but a hollow tube of bark and bugs. Uh -huh. I can't reach the rotten tree from here. That's what the grappling hook is for. Give, give me a second. Video is getting long, but I want to keep Then going. it'll get hooked on the tree trunk. I'll make a leap and hope that the dead tree will support my weight. Nope. But come on, it's highlighted. Then it'll get hooked on the tree trunk. I'll make a leap and hope that the dead tree will support my weight. Nope. But it's highlighted. So why are you not liking it? It's as round as a grommet. I can't reach it from this side. The orc idol is silent, but it seems the shaman is waiting for a sign from him. Up close, it isn't even half as scary. Is that a place for sacrifices down there? They've put up all those smoking basins everywhere. All is quiet down there. Okay, so maybe... Um... Um, 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 um... This? Wait, no, no. Oh no, I can't use the spell without Nuri! Shoot, I thought she, like, taught me how to use the re the repairing spell, but I guess not. Okay, so that's not good. Okay. Huh? I can't reach it from this side. Okay, so I'm supposed to use that. Obviously. Um... Bag with the water? It doesn't work that way. But you could get water that way. Doesn't that make sense? You should water black. I can't reach the water from here. What? That is horrible. Damn it, so what am I supposed to do? Well, we do have these flintstone and tinder. Hmm. I wonder if I could burn that wolf. Maybe that thing that was playing was... Is this the same thing that we did before? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I know, he's getting reamed. That's, that's completely fine with me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's flammable, but let's try. This mongrel is in the way. If he wakes up, all will be lost. Am I supposed to give him something? Here, you want this redstone? If he wakes up, all will be lost. What is this redstone good for? I mean, it's gotta be good for something. That has forced the drummer off beat. As loud as a real orc drum. No, nope. yeah, take it back. Hmm. I don't exactly understand what the red stone is for. Unless you can. I can't cut it. Hmm. 
And what exactly is the wooden board for as well? It seemingly does nothing unless I'm supposed to put it over this abyss. Yeah, that might make sense. Make a little bridge? Yeah. There we go. A little bitty bridge. And now we can try for... I want to see if I can get this wet. The stone colors the water blood red instantly, but no one is likely to see that from afar. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. Um, so, I know that I need to use the horn here. Hmm. Why, I have no idea. The horn is securely lodged in the jaw. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Good. For the horn? Now am I supposed to break... I'm... St I think I'm supposed to take down this tree now. Whoops. Do it. Because now he doesn't have to jump. So there is no danger. Do you dare! Um... Oh! Water! I see... Okay. And this is how you make a small riverbed out of a hollow tree. Oh, oh, I get it now. We're supposed to put the redstone into the... Ah, oh, the there we go. The stone fits perfectly into the horn. Yeah, like that. And then you put that in there, and now the water will turn blue. And now the Colossus is spilling blood. Maro! Moru at Seki, Moru Kur Knach, Uza, Ok, Baruko Kasrota. Oh God. Um. Okay. I'm gonna say that was the right thing to do. Run out of just about everything except for the fodder bag, which I don't know what to do with that. That was definitely what I was supposed to do. They are pretty excited about it, I mean. Tyra, Rat Icor, Wolf is away. Kleushka Taika, Hortaka, Alku Sharas Blakarai, Alku Aika, Blazorak, Taika Gara, Solokai, Solokai, Aikata, Aikata. God, um, do, do they like it? I know the wolf is awake. A dog like this ripped open Knight Crusoe's throat one time, but his horse is too. Um, water bag? I should find some food for him. Uh, of course. I wonder if I can sneak up to the camp now. Yep, they're gone. Perfect. There. Steal can we food. reach the Red Lake at last? Follow me without attracting attention. Hmm? No. But there's other stuff to do. You're right? not the kind to give up easily, are you? Yes, that's me. <laughs> Damn it. Wasn't I supposed to do something with the dog? The Red Lake! No explorer to be seen anywhere. Maybe there. Hello! Not so loud, the orcs! <laughs> <laughs> and who might you be, young'uns? What? Is that the imp? I think that's the imp. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and leave it there. It's been a pretty long video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and like the video, it does help out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment, share, do whatever you see fit, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Daedalic December. Vitibus out.